Since I was a small kid, I've always had a passion for the Great Commission. And I didn't know where that was going to be. I actually thought I was called to Buddhist in the Buddhist world. I really never came to Israel with a passion for Muslims. I married a Sabra Israeli Jewish lady, and we had a passion to reach the Jews, the Jewish people. And while we were ministering and reaching the Jewish people, many healings and salvations started breaking out with Muslims. And so it was then that I immersed myself into Muslim ministry as well. So with Jewish people, when you share the gospel, many times you start with under zero. The Jewish people have a very negative, sometimes very negative perception of Yeshua. So you have to kind of rebuild a positive perception of the person of Yeshua. With Muslims, you're actually starting in the Quran that actually has a very positive view of Jesus, but a, very, a wrong view, but a positive view. So we're not actually making them find Yeshua or Jesus, a person that's to be uh, to loved or accepted, but just bringing them and helping them understand who actually is the biblical Jesus. So everything we do, Luke 10 is our pattern of making disciples, which is finding a person of peace, going into their home, eating with them, and then healing the sick that are there and casting out demons and raising the dead and then declaring the kingdom within the homes of the unbelievers and helping them reach their oikos, their friends and family. So there are three young MBB men who were traveling between two different cities in the West Bank. They get stopped at a checkpoint, frustrated, angry at the soldiers, but at this time they were stopped and they had already become believers in Jesus. And so as they, as they were stopped, they told the soldiers how much they loved them. And they, they tried to give them even a uh, New Testament in Hebrew. And after that point, Every time they travel within the West Bank, they actually pray that they get stopped at a checkpoint because it would be one of the few opportunities they get as Palestinians to actually witness to Jewish people and tell them about the love of Jesus and the love in their hearts. I really believe that the key to reaching the Jewish people with the gospel is Arabs that come to faith. And the key for Muslims coming to the gospel are Jewish people who come to faith and tell them that they love the Muslims. As they begin to practice that, something starts to change in their heart where they don't become enemies anymore. We just want to thank the Ma'oz supporters very much for supporting this very important work that Ma'oz is doing with us and other projects that they're doing. Your support makes a difference here in Israel. Thank you very much.